The reality that many abused women and children face in South Africa has been well documented and forms part of the focus of the annual 16 Days of Activism campaign. But is the repetitive nature of the awareness actually doing more harm than good? The United Nations Human Rights Commission has found that many people have grown desanitized to the crimes against these vulnerable groups. A preliminary report which found although South Africa is making progress with the identification of its laws, not enough is being done with the implementation of these laws. Here I must really um, commend South Africa for having a very strong constitution which guarantees to all South Africans the right to, li to life in dignity and free from violence. The Domestic Violence Act, the Sexual Offences Act, the Family Violence Act, to name a few of them. There has been little implementation, hence impact of gender-based violence continued to be pervasive and at the level of systematic women's human rights violation. The preliminary report has revealed how law enforcement agencies are sufficiently equipped to deal with these abuse crimes against women and children. Let me first of all acknowledge that uh, difficulties that the South African police is confronted with started uh, with extreme level of everyday violence and lack of human resources, but also lack of equipment. Furthermore, there is a lack of specialized training for gender-based violence across the board. The police needs as a matter of urgency to improve its response to gender-based violence. It was reported to me that despite some commendable measures such as the establishment in some of the police stations of victims' friendly rooms, these measures are unevenly implemented throughout the country and victims continue to face re-victimization when willing to report acts of gender-based violence. The full report on these findings will be handed over to the UN's Human Rights Commission in Geneva and the recommendations submitted to the South African government. Khotato Mokhale, Eyewitness News.